Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome back to Rimpa Fat and Beauty's Kitchen. Um, today we are working on a soap that is inspired by one of the gems of the 80s that everybody always forgets about. It's by a band called Johnny Hates Jazz and the song is called Shattered Dreams. Oh, I had to think about that for a second, that was terrible. Um, it's one of my favorite what would be quote unquote one hit wonders of that decade. And yeah, this is a pretty special soap. It's been requested by several customers. Um, not necessarily the fragrance nor the song, but uh, actually putting real gemstones on the top. So this is our amethyst soap. It is scented, scented by Blackened Amethyst from Nature's Garden, which smells incredibly good. Um, my oils are dark. There's bet night clay in there, heavy cream, and I already put my yogurt in there. I've decided that that's the way it has to be. Let me go ahead and uh, get this blended up really quick, and then we'll add our lye water. Let's get our lye water in there, which is a 50-50 mix of aloe vera juice, distilled water, uh, sodium hydroxide, salt, and sugar. I'll have to stick blend all three colors in this because um, I'm using uh, purple as my base and you know because I have to pour off I'll have to uh, mix that color in but I have titanium dioxide with some French white shimmer mica in it and I have sterling silver with that mix of TD and uh, French shimmer mica in it so let me get this to emulsification and we'll pour off I put my spatula in the sink oh my goodness having a day this is my first out of three soaps and I gotta cut three soaps and unmold one soap <laughs> busy 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 I like it though I mean I definitely uh, love the work I mean yes it can it be stressful absolutely but you know when you love what you do it's really not work so I don't know if that makes sense but okay so my sterling silver and I'm going to be piping with the white, so I need to uh, it'll be piping and uh, a swirl there. So, all right, let me get this batter down. And this will be colored with amethyst purple. <laughs> Fitting. My granddaughter Keaton has become completely interested in gemstones and their properties and things, you know, as far as like birthstones and things like that, which is kind of neat. She and I talk about it all the time. So, all right, I'm going to start with my white. So let me move this. I'm not going to add the fragrance until after everything is stick blended. Pur the my purple has a little bit of a gray tone to it, which was intentional. Um, when I first blended it, it was too gray, but I definitely wanted a gray tone to it because of the sterling silver. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Let me get this all mixed up and get the bubbles out of it. Okay, so here is our our sterling silver with that TD and whatnot in it and if I remember correctly because I've made this this soap before um, I didn't have notes on the fragrance I don't know why but to my knowledge it doesn't rice and it doesn't uh, speed up trace so let's hope because early on if it didn't do anything bad I really didn't write anything and this was a soap that was very early in our Isis line. Oh, smells so beautiful. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's loosening up some. My white is 
thicker for the sole fact that, well, <laughs> there was quite a bit of TD in there. It's harder to get white white with my Isis and Osiris recipe because of the bentonite clay. And I'm not willing to give up the integrity of the way the clay feels just to make my whites brighter. Because most of the time the whites um, will sort itself out in the curing process. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to take a hanger to this which isn't a problem. I still have alcohol and my mold. Let's bring you in a little bit closer. I'm going to start off with our purple. Well, maybe a chopstick would, would do. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Need some gray. Yeah, I'm going to have to use my hanger. And some white and that's all the white that will be in that soap okay get move yeah some more purple actually we might have a little bit more white in there I don't know I just got soap all over my fingers and now my uh, holding on to this spatula <laughs> was a little bit funky. Okay. I'll have to wipe my hand off. Give me my washcloth. Okay. Where is my washcloth? My washcloth is way over there. Why is it way over there? I does not know. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to add just a little bit more weight. Just a little. There we go. Because they don't need much piping. And, and because it's going to be piped on, it doesn't matter what it looks like on the top. So we, <laughs> well, that's not going to help me fill up the mold, is it? At least I always alcohol my counters before I get started. I'm like kind of freaky about sanitation, even when it comes to soap making. Okay. How much of it? Oh, we didn't get anything on there. Okay, let me bang it. Oh, that's good. All right. Hanger, which I didn't have prepared. But we will now. Okay, here we go. Gonna start on this side and go up other way and bring it out this way it feels like this fragrance is heating up just a little bit I want to make sure that this soap stays in the mold okay Oh, look at that. I got an air hole right there. Just pop. That little bubble. All right. So we're going to have to wait until this piping sets up. Let me move this over here. Spray it with some alcohol. And throw this in, a, in my piping bag. <clears throat> and that way, I can do my dishes. I love being able to do dishes in between you know, like waiting for piping to set up and stuff. This won't take forever. It's pretty thick. And it does have a sparkle to it. I know my camera's not going to pick it up. But with that white shimmer, mica, that stuff shimmers like big time. All right. There we go. So I'll do my dishes and we will come back. You guys are not going to believe what happened. Oh my goodness. At, um, after I, because I pushed this up against my back, my backsplash and filled my piping bag and whatnot, and these molds um, are old and they bow a little bit in the middle, so I pushed my the blue bowl I use for like smaller batches of emulsified sugar scrub. I pushed that up against the middle of it so it wouldn't bow, and you know I have those sugar pearls on my backsplash. 
and an entire bag of pink, like, big <laughs> sugar pearls fell into my soap. I had to scoop them up and out of there. I don't know if I got them all. <laughs> oh, this is not boding well for my first soap of the night. Not boding well at all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's not exactly ten, is it? Or not exactly the same size, is it? Okay, what I want to do before we move on, I grab a piece of paper towel so I don't get soap all over my. I have my my amethyst. I got these all, um, I got a five pound bag of these on uh, whoop, Amazon for like, I think it was $6.99, you know, the rough cut. I tried to pick out the ones that are definitely going to be less than an inch. And I thought about putting glitter on this before I, uh, place the stones, but I am not. And I needed to let my piping set up like big time. Some of these, I mean, they're probably not going to be able to get end pieces off of this. And I probably should have alcoholed the stones, but you know how it goes. I'm a just a winging it. Okay. So it's a good thing that uh, my other two soaps are going to be really quick and really easy. I didn't um, do the heat transfer method with this one because <clears throat> um, it's my Isis recipe and my re Isis recipe has the mango butter and shea butter and it takes forever for that mango butter to melt if you do the heat transfer method. It's annoying so there's not really anything I can do about it other than you know do it the normal way I suppose. I'm going to cover up some of these holes right here. And I do need samples of this, so I have, I do have extra piping. I don't want to go overboard on the piping. I really hope with dropping those things in there and having to dig them out that I didn't mess up the design inside too bad. That would be horrible. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to keep it pretty simplistic because, like I said, it's um, it doesn't need to be overboard. Uh, let me move this over. Let's try not to touch the soap, Sulin. I just want to move these over just a teensy weensy bit so that they're better in there and I make sure I took, because if I... <laughs> I can't cut through these. <laughs> All right, let me, just one more right there. Oh, got an ear bubble. Yeah, this was requested of me last year to be able to, I'm gonna turn this around, to do this with actual stones. So that one uh, had an air hole in it. So I went ahead and, you know, it's like I said, I mean, I use melt and pour. I used my melt and pour and uh, made like, you know, squares and then sort of made stones out of it, I guess. I mean, if that's what you want to call them. <laughs> okay, I am going to put glitter on this. it'll come out. My glitter is not coming out. Okay, there we go. All right. 
spray it with some alcohol and we will move on to our next roll. We will uh, come back and cut this in 18 to 24 hours and I will see you then. Bye bye. Hi guys, we're back to cut Shattered Dreams. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get an end piece off of this. I might. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Just a teeny one. But it is one. Okay. I just got back from my July 4th show. Yes, I'm cutting this up on July 4th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, it was so hot, you guys. So hot. But it was worth it. I like talking to my customers. Actually, I don't like it. I love it. And, you know, seeing everybody. And there was a whole bunch of vendors that didn't come. Come, so I got to be around vendors I hadn't been around before and got to meet new vendors and stuff, and that was awesome. So, all right, I'm doing a pretty good job not uh, running into these uh, amethysts here on the top. Make sure my cutter is lined up. It was so hot, I actually have a headache. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but if I get too hot, I get a headache. <clears throat> it just happens. So, what else is going on? Oh, tomorrow I get to do some inventory mm -hmm. to make sure that my numbers are correct on my website. What the heck is that? Oh, remember? That's right. I dropped those chocolate things in there. Oh, these, they're these, like sugar pearls, but they're like candy coated chocolate. That's what fell in there. Remember? I see. It's been like seven days. <laughs> like seriously. So this bar obviously cannot be sold. Neither can this one. So automatically we are down two bars, but I love the fragrance, so I'll just steal it. No big deal. Because it's not going to bother me any. Hopefully there isn't any more. <laughs> I almost had a heart attack, you guys. See, that's what, what I get for not cutting soap for a few days. I have two others I have to cut today, too, and then I'm going to play my game. I'm like ready to play my game. I've been so busy lately, you guys, that I'm letting it go by the wayside. Because I actually started a new game. I'm not playing Assassin's Creed anymore. I'm playing a game called The Witcher 3. I read all eight books. And I even watched the show on Netflix, the first season. So, yes, before I played the game. Because I had to know, you know... I didn't know everything about it, so that way I wasn't confused about anything. So, but yeah. My husband is going to make dinner, which is going to be awesome. We're going to have hot dogs with chili and cheese. So, it's a good 4th of July dinner, right? Should have brought my glasses down here. I thought I had glasses down here. Apparently I do not. I have an upstairs and a downstairs pair of glasses. And I seem to always bring my upstairs pair of glasses. Or my downstairs pair of glasses upstairs all the time. <clears throat> I have this uh, laundry basket that um, I, it's like my soaping laundry basket so it's like everything that needs to come downstairs it goes in there so all right anyway guys um thanks for sticking with me and i will see you guys next week bye bye